Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and this is going to be a quick video in which I show you a nano cache. First of all, if you're not sure what geocaching is, I'll quote from geocaching.com say it's a high-tech treasure hunt where basically people hide little parcels all over the place, register them on the website and then other people go out and find them and log their name in a little book so you can see who's been there and so on. Uh, these are hidden all over the place, in town centres, in the countryside, just everywhere. And if you've never actually heard of it and seen the map to see where they are, chances are you could have walked past hundreds of them in your life. The nano cache is really the epitome of this hidden world around us sort of idea. So, how big is the nano cache? Well, that big. They're magnetic as well, so that gives you an awful lot more scope for hiding places. And, well, the thing is, something like this, if somebody did see one of these straight up close, they would surely not even think for a second it was anything other than a piece of the sign or piece of whatever it was stuck to. Anyway, let's take a closer look, because you're probably struggling from over there. As I say, these are exceptionally small and magnetic, so that gives you an awful lot of scope for hiding places. But if we unscrew the screw lid, you'll see on the inside here is a tiny scroll of paper which basically once you find it you would unroll and then write your name on it put it all back and then everything would hopefully be fine for the next person to discover just to put the size of these into perspective here is one penny yep a nano cache is pretty small so i hope you've enjoyed this look at just how small a nano cache is and hope you'll check out sortofinteresting.com for loads more geocaching stuff as well as just Loads of great things to see and do. So, until the next time, farewell.